episode of the Inflow Podcast. If you're new here, my name is Ani B. This is Nadine. And we are back, you guys. We've missed you so, so much. much. Oh my gosh, I feel like we haven't chatted with you guys in a long time. Yeah, I know. We missed a week, right? Yeah, it was that just was one it. week, but, but for it, some reason it's too it much felt, sometimes. Yeah, it felt like we were gone for a month. But <laughs> wow, you guys know that we were so busy launching the Flowy app. And so we took a week to just really, really give that everything we've got. And I would say that that was a success. That was the most beautiful outcome I have ever seen. That was the yeah. most probably accomplished I've ever felt about anything in my entire life. Yeah, yeah I'm right there with you. Like, <sighs> can we just take a moment to talk about what the heck just happened? Because. Yeah. Nadine and I decided to create this app um, because we felt like there was a there was like a void. There was something missing in the world, and it was like, where can there be a one stop shop, a one place that you need to go to ascend in all areas? It's not just fitness. It's not just your well being. It's not just your mindset. Like, why is there nobody who's trying to ascend in all categories? Mm-hmm. You know, and so just to know that we were able to cultivate all of the ways that we've grown and ascended in our own lives but even just acknowledging the places where we wish to ascend and and continue to ascend and to create a community of like-minded people that are also on the same journey of wanting Mm. to get more abundant and more wealthy and find more prosperity in their life but also become the healthiest version of themselves and the most in tune and and awakened versions of themselves like we have brought a created a sacred space where that can be a, a reality yeah We've created a collective. I cannot tell you how beautiful it feels to wake up in the morning and to just see people who have the same mindset posting their fitness and that they've just made these beautiful acai bowls and then all of them commenting on each other's posts and be and just being super incredible and kind on our first live we had all these people drop their instagram ads and then people are creating local events to meet up with each other and just hearing people's stories of their alignment in their day it just reminds you of why we're on this earth and why we live here it's because we're meant to build communities that are genuinely there to support us yes and I love that so much yeah it's beautiful on there and like I have all my notifications turned off of everything except the flowy app (laughs) so when I wake up in the morning the first thing that I see whenever I go on my phone is good morning everyone I hope you have the best day ever here's my mantra for the day here's my favorite affirmation here's my breakfast here's this here's that like there are flooded messages already in the community feed by the time I I rise in the morning that's just uplifting me like to come to 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 be able to have access to so much divine beautiful energy it's such a blessing and I really like I I'm astonished at what we've created Nadine like I'm astonished at how powerful uh our platform has become and, and just like the fact that we are just doing this to help change lives like that's the only reason why we're here we come on here every week and we talk to you guys and we we just guide right like this is what what fuels our soul and what like really 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 like I keep saying like because I'm so excited but what really (laughs) really gets us going like you know what I mean so and the reason why it's so big and it's doing so good is because the universe genuinely loves our idea it loves our creativity it loves the it loves bringing people together and yeah. showing people all of their strengths and their kindness and when you are doing something with the goodness out of your heart and when you genuinely genuinely want to see people thrive and people do better in their lives even if mm-hmm. it's just your neighbor your friend your family whoever that you encourage whoever that you love yeah. that's such a good deed it's such a good blessing and it comes back to you 10 times fold and that's the only reason why we were able to get so many subscribers and so many followers in this short amount of time because Mm -hmm. it's genuinely divinely guided yeah I'll tell you that yeah it's like you know when you feel something in your intuition and you want to take action on it and you choose to take action on it it it's always going to to work out for you because we are given like a set of missions and a set of quests, like in my opinion. Mm-hmm. And I think this was one of our biggest life quests was to create a community that, you know, wants to heal and wants to grow in every single aspect of their life. And that's really, if you really sit and think about what 
the inflow podcast is all about it's about ascension it's about ascension in every category and we talk about everything from relationship to your starting a business and and being affluent in growing your social media platforms mm. to even just like how to feel confident or how to treat your body with respect when it, it comes to how you eat and how you work out and everything like we just want you to be the ho- most whole version of yourself and the flowy app has been become our best feat at that Mm -hmm. our best effort our best creation of this has it's the flowy app and we're just so absolutely proud of it and so thank you everybody who have subscribed already thank you all of our listeners now that are going to run over there and also subscribe right now like tonight let's mention one thing for you really quick is that it's monday this morning when you're listening happy monday you guys it's going to be a beautiful week um but i also want to remind you that if you guys didn't know already nadine and i are hosting a six month long full life transformation called the ascension on the flowy app the first phase is the 10 10 10 method challenge which is 10 minutes of yoga 10 minutes of meditation and 10 minutes of journaling in that order and we give you all of the yoga videos that we made ourselves all of our guided meditations that we made ourselves all of the journal prompts that we made ourselves and we challenge you to do this with us for 30 days and the second month is all about your fitness and nutrition it's all about getting your body right it's all about getting the nutrients in your body and in your mind and in your soul and really yes. feeling yourself to the absolute best you could possibly be it's uh-huh. really just learning about how food is really medicine exactly and how it's going to learn to heal and you. movement is medicine as well and mm-hmm. we really really want to like like knock that in is that it's very important that how you treat your vessel right like you cannot have this cosmic connection and feel oneness with yourself and with source if you aren't treating your body properly Um, So that is something that we're diving into. And then the third month is all about creativity and we're going to be tapping into your passions and figuring out what you what you truly love in this life and reawakening a part of you that maybe has been asleep for a long time. Everybody who does it from the very first day, which is Monday, October 2nd today, all the way to the end of the full Ascension program, we are picking a handful of those women or men to come with us on a retreat in a really beautiful (laughs) undisclosed location. location. Um, and we're going to be having a full wellness retreat and there's more details to come with that, but you will be entered to win the opportunity to come with us to this if you do the full Ascension program with us. So we highly recommend it's only $14.99 to get started. Enough about the Flowy app, even though we could talk about it for a million years because it's just like <laughs> the most incredible thing. Yeah. We came to you today. You turn on this podcast because you want to hear about detoxing. Mm. right we're talking about dopamine detoxing physical mental emotional detoxing energetic detoxing what does it mean to really choose to reboot your body reboot your mind and kind of press the restart button a little bit yeah you know yeah i i currently am doing a watermelon cleanse this is a cleanse that annika has also previously done as well and I'll tell you right now, guys, I am somewhere else. I am not here. Yes. But it's such a beautiful experience right now because it really does feel like I have so much presence. Um, mm-hmm. It almost feels like a little resemblance into what Ramadan is like um, for all of my Muslim go- boys and girls out there. Mm-hmm. Know that that month is where you're fasting. So this is like a watermelon fast. So you really are only eating watermelon. I do have some teas embedded in my day I think I'm drinking mango steam this morning and honestly it's such a beautiful beauty concoction collagen booster so yeah. I could feel the effects already I could see the the plumpness in my face mm-hmm. um and I could feel the presence in my day and how good my mind feels it feels really clear feels like my energy is really clear yeah. feels like I'm looking at the world a little bit differently sure. right now for sure it's just a really gorgeous experience I definitely yeah recommend that at least now we've decided that like once a month we definitely want to do some sort of cleanse Mm -hmm. in all aspects of of detoxing absolutely so I just finished doing a 60 hour watermelon fast and shout out to my friend Joey he is the one who actually brought this about he we were chatting a little bit and I've been really struggling with having like really dull, dry skin and I just was feeling like the life was not in my face, like something was going on with my body. I was eating healthy foods but it almost felt like my body was trying to show me like, hey, something's wrong, like I'm, something's not working, I'm not getting this nutrients that you're feeding me, something is blocked or, you know, energetically, physically, whatever. 
And so I was chatting with him and he's a very holistic guy. He knows so much. He's very, very wise. And he was like, Ani, you really need to do a watermelon fast. Like you need to clear your body out and you need to hydrate. And he really was encouraging this. And I decided, um, I think I started it on Monday. No, 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 I started it Tuesday. And I was like, okay, I'm doing it. I have to, I need my skin to reset. I was getting a lot of acne and just things were happening. So I decided to go for it and um, yeah, I, I made it over 60 hours and it was difficult in the beginning, but then it started becoming very easy and I started feeling the most in tune and present that I probably have felt in a really long time. And I think that fasting in general is very, very spiritual. It really makes you drop in and, and connect with the earth, with the most high and with yourself. And man, it was such a beautiful experience my body felt incredible my skin was glowing I felt so electrified mm. and it's because fruit and not all fruit it's very specific types of fruit that are filled with life force energy this life force energy that comes from the ground right that comes from the earth think about what you're eating right like if it's alive and it's from the earth and it's made from God like that is something that will fuel you up and not just give you nutrients physically but give you energetic nutrients mm -hmm. and that's exactly what watermelon does but specifically watermelon with the black seeds like actual seeded watermelon the other stuff is made in a lab and it's not good for you so um anyway we were having I was having that and um coconut water as well like from from fresh young coconuts and that was beautiful now Nadine's doing it so it's really cool to have like our different perspectives because I had I just finished and I can speak on how I feel now that I'm done with it and now that I'm eating my clean foods and you're in it right now so you can speak on how it feels while you're in it yeah. um and yeah it's it's beautiful it's beautiful it feels like my body is finally absorbing the nutrients of the food I'm eating Interesting. like over the I started I ended my fast yesterday and the food that I've eaten yesterday and today like it feels like it's actually healing my body mm -hmm. you know the good quality ingredients that I use the organic foods that I'm eating like finally feels like my body can actually uh, take those in yeah like use that as medicine yeah I think what I love so much about what I'm doing right now is that it kind of just makes everything around you feel a little bit slower mm -hmm. you know um even when you're eating the watermelon you really get to taste and like feel the nutrients that you're getting um I like that I like that I know what's going to come from this because hearing it from Ani it definitely I've noticed that when people start to eating better foods or doing a fast it really just kind of unclogs everything that has been there and like been built up from all yeah. of the other foods that you've had and so your whole metabolism needs a little bit of a reset once in a while mm -hmm. um and I really like the idea of drinking lemon water in the morning is a really good way to detox your body before you start eating your regular foods if you don't want to do the fast um there are plenty of different ways that you can research on how to detox your body yeah. Um, watermelon fast happens to be one of them that we do, but it's not the only one. Yeah. Um, so yeah, definitely pick what pertains to you and what you feel like is best. One thing that I would say though, to really consider if you're the type of person like me, where I completely changed my life in the last year, like my eating habits, I haven't had meat, I haven't had cheese, I haven't had dairy of any sorts. Like I completely changed my diet and my lifestyle like 180 in the last year and still no matter what I've gotten to I've hit a plateau in in this journey where like okay I'm fueling my body I only have these good quality healthy foods but why is my skin still struggling and mm. why you know am I still feeling fatigued every day and why is you know why is it not working and it's not because what you're doing is bad and I was starting to build this resentment towards food thinking like maybe I'm allergic to this maybe I have an issue with this maybe blah 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 but maybe it's none of that. Maybe it's just the fact that your body is clogged up energetically too. Mm -hmm. Energetically too. Because when you have trauma, you store it in your body. And if you don't move it out and you don't get things shifted, then it will just sit there and sink in. Yeah. And sometimes you just need to press restart. Like mm -hmm. when your computer's acting up and then you restart it. Like sometimes you need to do that for your body. And I did that for my face. I talked about my hormonal acne journey a million times. But... For the longest time, I 
you guys, I was really down bad. My my skin was really, really terrible and I couldn't figure out how to fix it because my diet was different. My life was different. Why am I still struggling with acne? Well, nothing actually changed until I cleared it out and got a facial that opened up all of the pores and finally took all of the gunk out of my face. Once that happened, then the food that I was eating was able to show me how it was healing my body and healing my skin. Then there was room for the good to happen for me. And that's exactly how I feel about this watermelon fast, for real. Yeah. Um, and like you said, it doesn't have to be a watermelon fast, but really like pay close attention to how your body feels because lemon water, like it, it depends where you're at, I guess. Like if you're feeling like, I'm eating healthy, what's happening? Nothing's going to work. I would highly suggest doing a fast like fully. You could even do just like a tea only fast and really detox and not even have watermelon. Um, either way, fasting is something that we approve of and we think that it's very healthy, so to speak. It's definitely rejuvenating and you'll notice it in your skin for sure. After when yeah. it's done, you'll glow, you'll feel great, your energy will feel great, you'll realize that you have a better connection with the world, your heart is, feels a little bit more open, you feel a lot yeah. more connected. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's plenty of ways to detox. Watermelon is definitely one of them, but that's just in your nutrition-wise. Yes. Um, another way to detox everything in your life um, is definitely we all could use a little bit of a dopamine detox. Um, basically, I think that with the amount of notifications that are going on the amount of things that we need to do the amount of things that kind of give us like pleasure that is just like text messages or or things like that I just feel like sometimes it's really nice every couple of months to turn off your phone not even have it exist maybe go on a camping trip to really connect with nature in any way that you possibly can because when you do that you start to feel the world around you. You start to see the world around you. You start to see the beauty in the trees, in the in the nature that's around you. And it starts to make you feel more connected to who you are. Yeah. Um, having to rely on all of these dopamine fixations that happen throughout our day to kind of make us happy will kind of make us feel detached from who we For are. Sure. And it's it's not always the best feeling. So yeah. once in a while, it's really good to kind of come inward and, and spend time with yourself and spend time with the world without the rest of everything that comes in with it yeah some signs that you need a dopamine detox are one you're constantly checking the notifications on your phone mm. two you like to watch who's watching your story a lot mm -hmm. three you constantly are checking to see if a certain person has responded to you and you always are looking on your phone to see if they've responded and the list goes on Basically, and another thing that I've noticed that I do when I'm needing a dopamine detox is I re-watch or re-listen to or reopen messages or re-look at things that, to give myself a, like a hit of the dopamine. Mm. Like if there was a conversation I had with a certain person that made me like giddy and excited, I'll find myself going back to that conversation and wanting to reread it a couple of times because I want to feel that feeling again. Mm. And that is a huge sign that we are relying too much on this fixation. And so recently, especially when I was doing the fast, I was trying my best to be detached from that as much as possible. I wasn't really posting on Instagram at all. Um, and usually I'm on my story like all day long, but I wasn't <laughs> on my story at all during the fast. And um, I was spending a lot of time outside. I was making it a routine for myself to go on this long like trail that I have near my house. And I was just out there and I would just close my eyes and feel the sun on my face. And there's dragonflies everywhere on this trail. And I would just like watch them play with each other. And it was really cool. It's It's really nice to observe nature and see flow in its natural state. Like I was looking at the dragonflies like play with each other and like run around and fly around and stuff. And I was looking at it and I just kept saying to myself, like, that is flow right there. Mm -hmm. That is flow. They're just moving. They're not thinking about where they need to go. They're not fighting. They're not stressed. They're not feeling anything other than the innate nature of movement. And that is what we are also gifted with as humans. We mm -hmm. also have this innate nature for movement and being outside and being in the sun and really connecting with your natural state is so impactful. Yeah. And I've also been playing like very beautiful soft music. I made a playlist called Flow actually and it's just a bunch of really gorgeous piano ballads and mm. man, when I tell you that music is so extremely powerful, this playlist makes time slow down. 
I don't care if I'm stressed out. I don't care what's going on in my life. If I'm listening to this playlist, I it feels like an exhale. Yeah. And the beautiful thing about when you are detoxing in these ways and are out in nature and are doing whatever it is that you need to do to kind of just take yourself away from everything, you'll start to realize that, oh my gosh, I actually am opening up my channel to receive these messages. Yeah. I'm opening up my channel to listen to God, listen to the universe, to yeah. hear what he has in store yes. for me, to observe and watch and feel all the blessings that are in my life, to reflect on the time that you know has passed and to look yeah. forward to the future but honestly just be here right now because honestly guys we're never promised tomorrow we're never promised the next moment and so any time that we can give and pour into ourselves whether it's a detox whether it's a walk whether it's an appreciation of something that's bigger than you that's more beautiful than you like dragonflies outside you know mm -hmm. then you are doing yourself such a favor sometimes the sometimes the act of stripping things away is so good for you and sometimes when you're not willing to strip things away, God will strip things away for you. And whether that's financially, whether that's in your love life, or even just with an actual fast like this, this is like the ultimate experience of being stripped from things. Um, it can be such an incredible and, and uh, medicinal experience because, because when you are stripped of things and you are bare, you get to see what really matters. You get to see what really exists and it's only the present now moment. It's only you and the most high and your source energy and that is all that matters. No matter what's happening in your life, no matter what stressors are going on, if you're alive and your heart is beating, you have everything that you need. And when you get to fully strip away all of the luxury things, all of you know the worries of the day you truly get to see what matters and it's almost like god is like hey there you are i've been trying to get your attention mm -hmm. now you're listening now you hear me and when you can really feel like you're connected with god and and god lives within us as well so when you feel that connection even just with yourself everything seems to be more clear and everything makes more sense Absolutely. even the things that are difficult even the things that that feel charged and heavy become manageable mm -hmm. and weightless Absolutely. after a while yeah it's in those moments when things are taken away from us where we finally get to get to a place where we realize that we can't do it on our own exactly. we can't continue on our own we have to reach out we have to ask for help and sometimes it's we get into those vulnerable states and we realize what it all was meant for yeah um later in the future so I think that's super powerful. I think yeah. that having your connection is so important and never losing sight of that. God is with you. He is always with you. And he's waiting for the time to be able to speak to you. So sometimes it'll take a little bit of those downfall. It'll take away of the stripping. It'll take away that relationship. It'll take away those luxuries all because of your connection with him. And he figures that that is actually more important because what we do and what we are in this world specifically is truly dependent on how much faith we have that things can get accomplished that that things will be there for you that things will show up for you i know that on our community group chat today this beautiful girl i f forgot her name she had mentioned that she forgot her credit card and she forgot her wallet and she forgot everything with her except for just her purse and she had gone to the grocery store and she had her son with her and she was like, I have all these groceries. I had the lady check them all out. Now they're sitting in bags and it's time for me to pay. Oh and thank God, she literally had the exact amount in cash. Oh my goodness. Whoever has the exact amount in cash. That's crazy. She's like, I literally just got it by the lick of like, a, I don't know what that, saying, that is. saying is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but wow, it was just incredible to, to even hear. And those are the stories that you'll get on the Flowy app, you know, from all yeah. these people. And it's just interesting that when you when you have faith and when you truly believe it honestly relieves you of all the fear yeah. and you get to walk around without like the shackles of humanity you know mm -hmm. you get to walk around with this bouncy feeling of like i'm taken care of i'm done mm -hmm. i don't have to worry about anything i don't have to worry about my next move i don't have to worry about every single little thing that happens in my life because i know i'm protected and i know that i'm guided and in those moments of detox and stripping away of everything in your life and decluttering your room and decluttering your space and decluttering your phone and, you know, washing your car, all these things, you feel amazing 
when you feel good and when you're in that state of gratitude and humbleness and just thanking God for every single little thing that he's done for you in in this now, the stronger the connection gets, the stronger the messages get, the stronger you're able to hear him, the stronger you'll be able to see the alignment in the life, the more amazing people show up in your life. These are the type of things that you deserve. These are innate human rights that you deserve. Yeah. And it's time to unlock those. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. I feel like this last week has shown me the most abundance, the most love, the most absolute, like, absolute I don't even know what the word I can't even describe it just I've just felt so aligned and everything is aligned like the angel numbers that I'm seeing the the numbers and like the synchronicities of like timing for things like everything is perfect and it feels so divine and the only thing that I've done differently this week is I've just been talking to God way more I've been feeling gratitude in every now moment anytime something makes me giddy and excited I'm thanking God for that feeling I'm so thankful that I get to feel this giddy excitement over whatever it is like I'm so grateful that I get to go to the gym I'm so grateful that I get to go on this walk I'm Mm. so grateful that I get to edit this podcast like I genuinely feel so filled and whole just doing the little things of of my day and oh my gosh it has just caused so many of my manifestations to come flying towards me like one in particular is I you know I I truly believed that there was like going to be a type of person that I was going to end up with at some point in life, somebody who was creative and ambitious and really charismatic and matched my, my personality and who I am very well. And I started to lose faith in that idea because a lot of people were like, Oh, well, maybe you're just too, you have too high expectations or maybe, you know, this other person was the best it gets or whatever. And I was really thinking like, okay, maybe they're right. Maybe I am asking too much of someone. Maybe I I want something that really doesn't exist out there. But I never let go of the vision. I knew that I'm okay with being on my own. I'm more than happy. I'm glad to be on my own. I love being on my own. Preach. And this is something that I would I would be more than happy to continue for myself unless I found exactly what I'm looking for. Mm. And even just in this one week alone, like I've had so many introductions to so many different people that meet so many of the of the marks that I've been looking for in a partner and it's crazy like I'm almost like yo yo it's too soon like give me a second (laughs) but it's God is showing me like yes they're here like you don't give up on your idea of what you want because I'm showing you that they are all over you they're Mm -hmm. all over and that is such a beautiful feeling like like a love romantic connection is not a hard thing to come across it's just about how you feel about it like are you truly fully satisfied in just being with yourself just Mm. being who you are do you need somebody to make you feel whole if the answer is truly no then they always come always so yeah also if you feel like lately you feel like you haven't been receiving those messages or you feel like you haven't been receiving what you wanted I think that sometimes it could be really helpful to isolate yourself a little bit and go into a little bit of a hermit mode and truly reconnect with yourself and cleanse your energy because cleansing your energy is also another form of detox yeah and saging your house and saging yourself and saging your room and you know realizing about how you feel if there's a a specific friend or a friend group that you're around that really you know brings you down typically staying away from that or even sheltering yourself a little bit to really cultivate who you are can really help you navigate these people in your life um, and see whether they're a benefit and or whether they're hindering your process or hindering your alignment one thing I know for a fact is that I'm so grateful for me and Ani's friendship is because we're always in alignment we're always helping each other we're always looking at the gratitude of life I don't want to surround myself with I've actually completely detoxed myself from absolutely anybody who talks negatively about their life 24 Mm -hmm. 7 yes 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 yes. I need those people to understand that I have my hand out for them all the time Mm -hmm. and I love them so much with my whole entire heart but it's very obvious of which people choose to stay in a space of negativity versus to choose in a space of gratitude because everything opens up in a space of gratitude it feels like literally a big giant boulder that's not allowing any of the water to come in 
And if you just remove that boulder, you'll see a rush of water come in and take and clean out your entire system. Yeah. But it just depends do you want to move that boulder or are you just keeping it there because it, that's what feels most comfortable. That's how it got there. That's how it stays there. Mm-hmm. And some people can really be those boulders and they can teach you that even your gratitude in something that was really difficult in your life isn't something you should do mm-hmm. or isn't the, the it's, it's the innate way to handle things, but it's not the common way to handle things. And so we are surrounded by people who commonly think that enjoying embracing their negativity is what's going to get them from point a to point b but it never does because it really blocks all of the blessings yeah so i agree with that completely um i just can't relate to it you know like you can't if you're a negative like people who are like negativity or struggle or pain is like an identity for them i i hear you and i feel your pain and i i know how it feels to be there i've been there i think a lot of us have been there but there has to be a point where you can truly just say to yourself I can't relate to this I'm grateful for everything I'm grateful to be alive and I can't be around somebody who doesn't feel at least something similar to me Mm -hmm. it becomes like a core value thing so yeah I think that that's beautiful detoxing in all areas of your life (laughs) for real that's what we think that we all should focus on even if it's just for a couple of days or however long you feel called to do it um we feel called to share with you guys that maybe it's time for a little restart reboot in your life (laughs) um but before we go nadine's gonna pull a card yay i'm so excited about that um and while she's getting that ready i just wanted to say that if you ever feel lost or stressed or really just not on the right path close your eyes and remember that flow is your natural state of being It is your natural state to have ease in your heart and to feel love and to feel nothing but certainty. And so when you don't feel that way, just close your eyes and remind yourself to come back to your natural state. Whoa. There she is. (laughs) Okay. Well, actually, this is going to be a different one. Think about something that you've been having doubt about. Or at least a question. And the answer is yes. Your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. Wow. So whatever it is that you thought about, whatever it is that you decided on or you were worried about, that is what you should do. The answer is yes. Like getting the flow, yeah. (laughs) Way to put that in there. (laughs) All right, you guys. That was beautiful. I hope that this resonated with you. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Um, thank you for being here again. Check out the flowy app. We'll have the, the first link in our bio B for the sign up page. And with that, we love you so much. We thank you for you being so here. Much. Yes. And we'll see you next Monday, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't be late. Don't be late. Bye. Bye. Bye.